Greetings, everybody. Welcome to Solving Systems by Elimination. This is our first Friday Ed Puzzle. Make sure you get it done before you start your weekend. And then, of course, have a great weekend because that's what weekends are for. So let's go ahead and dive into this. I've got a few examples to show you, and then you are on your way. So first of all, let's go ahead and look at this, this one down here. I've got x minus 5 x minus 5y equals 10, and I've got 2x plus 5y equals 5, all right? To go ahead and solve this, of course, what's the first step? That's right, we're going to go ahead and cancel out the two opposite numbers. Negative 5y plus 5y is going to cancel. We're going to add everything else together. So x plus 2x is 3x, 10 plus 5 is 15, uh, 3x equals 15, which means dividing by 3 is going to give me x equals 5. That's one half of the answer, right? Second half is going to be uh, found by plugging the x back into one of these equations. Let's go with the top one. It's going to give me a 5 minus 5y equals 10. Subtract 5 from both sides. Negative 5y equals a positive 5. Dividing by negative 5, divide by negative 5, y is going to give me a negative 1, OK? Give me a final answer of 5 comma negative one. Now, does it matter which equation I plug those into? Uh, no, it doesn't. If I plug this into the other equation, two times five plus five y equals five, I'm going to get 10 that I'm going to subtract from both sides to get five y equals negative five and dividing is still going to give me the negative one. Okay, so it does work either way. That's the solution for that question right there. Go ahead and move on to our second example. And we're looking at 3x plus 7y equals negative 8, and 3x minus 2y equals negative 44. There we go. OK, so of course, what's the first step? Well, I sure would love to cancel these out. But if you remember from yesterday's example with the burgers and french fries, right? Those three x's make six. They don't cancel out. So I'm actually going to need to change one of these equations to make it work. I'm going to go ahead and change the top equation, actually, because, uh, wow, I really should change the other one. I'm going to change the other one. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply everything in the second equation by a negative one, by a negative one, because that's going to change everything in there to another sign. If I have a negative 3x, they're going to cancel. So that gives me a negative 3x uh, plus 2y equals a positive 44. And then I'll go ahead and write the other one underneath. 3x plus 7y equals a negative 8. So notice these stay the same. It's only the top one that's getting changed. All right, now it's easy. I'm going to cancel those out. 2 plus 7 is 9y. 44 minus 8 is going to be, some of you did this in your head by the time I write it into the calculator. It's going to give me 36. Divide by 9, divide by 9, y is equal to a 4. y is equal to a 4. OK, now that I have 1, easy to find the other. I'm just going to plug it into one of the two equations. Doesn't matter which one. I'm going to go ahead and just choose the one on the top. 3 times x plus 7 times 4 is going to equal negative 8. Now, paying really close attention, the y goes with the y, right? So um, 3x stays the same. 7 times 4 is 28 is equal to negative 8. I'm going to subtract 28. I subtract 28, which is going to give me, oh, 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 oh. negative 8 minus 28 is going to give me a negative 36. That's where it was. Is equal to 3x. I just, I missed that negative 8 sign right there and it messed me up. Okay. All right. Dividing both sides by 3x is going to equal a negative 12. Negative 12. All right. So those are the answers. 12 comma 4 because x then y. Bam. All right. So looking at our next example, our final example, in fact, is a story problem. I have here, after careful searching of his couch, Mr. Krabs found 36 coins totaling $3, and the coins are all nickels and quarters. How much of each coin does he have? Of course, Mr. Krabs is the one that would care about this kind of a number. So let's go ahead and dive into it. First of all, we know that we have quarters and nickels, and we know if we add all the quarters and all the nickels together, we're going to get 36 coins. So that's where I'm going to start. Nickels plus quarters equals uh, 36. OK, and then, of course, if we add the, um, the cost or the amount of each, we're going to get $3. $3 is actually 300 pennies. So 5 pennies plus 25 pennies equals 300 pennies. 
That just got rid of the decimals for me, okay? So five cents a nickel, 25 cents a quarter. All right, so looking at this, first step, we're gonna cancel something out, but what's gonna cancel? Nothing, right? Because they're all matching. So we need to actually change one of these equations to make them match. And I'm gonna do that by multiplying the top equation by negative five, okay? By negative five. So that's gonna give me a negative five N that'll cancel those out. Okay, I left enough space that I can write this in here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it that way. Actually, maybe I should, should write this stuff down underneath. Let's go underneath. So negative five N minus five Q equals negative uh, 180. And now I'm prepared to add everything down. Five minus five is zero, 25 minus five is 20, and uh, 300 minus 180 is 120, okay? Now it's simple math. I divide by 20, divide by 20, zeros cancel out, leaving me Q equals 12 divided by two is six, okay? Q is six. Now I need to find the quarters. Now remember, if I combine the amount of nickels and the amount of quarters, I get 36 coins. So that means that if the quarters are six, there's gonna only be 30 coins left that have to be nickel. N plus six equals 36, subtract six, but obviously you guys knew it's equal to 30. All right, so writing this uh, this pair, it could be six comma 30, or it could be 30 comma six, just because there isn't an X and a Y, it's hard to tell which comes first. I would recommend generally alphabetical order. Um, that's what I have for you. If you have any questions, please contact me. If you need to get any work or assignments done today, please contact me and I will talk to you later. Have a great day.